ladies and gentlemen, this I think is a scarce item. I can't find any reference to it on the internet, and I can't find any copies for sale on the 140 million volume Abe Books Antiquarian book site, which I use as a sort of guideline sometimes. Um, it's an 1898 volume of um, unusual punch um, caricatures. Um, it's called Mr. Punch's Animal Land, by e, drawn and written by E.T. Reed, maker of his prehistoric peeps. Uh, and it's published in 1898. And it's basically um, a sort of parody of a medieval bestiary. Um, the, the, the writing is, is, is a sort of misspelt, slightly sort of medieval, uh, rubriced and black uh, writing uh, and worded in this rather sort of quaint old-fashioned style. And the book consists of um, page after page of individual characters caricatures of famous people of the day as um, animals, creatures. The Duke is basically the Duke of Devonshire of the time. Um, we have the mealy fist or gospel spreader, who is Prince Henry of Prussia, there, who for various reasons has been caricatured as that. There is um, Austin or Joseph Chamberlain uh, with his famous monocle called the Shove, and there is Chamberlain. Um, as you can see, the condition of the book is, it's actually, it looks like it should have been stitched, this quality of book, but it's actually been glued, and the glue, glue is coming apart uh, as I turn the pages. So each page is removable on its own, which in fact means that they could be beautifully mounted and framed because there's nothing on the back of them. They're individual pictures with individual title pages. Um, and they, it could be, you could make a wonderful profit mounting and framing them because many of the people are famous people. There we have um, Rudyard Kipling, the Ruddy Kipple, he's called. Uh, and there is a, a writing about him. This little animal is very strong and vigorous and knows everything. If anybody tries to beat it, it brings out a fresh tail, and then nobody can touch that either. Tail spelled T A I L. Um, we've got Sir Arthur Sullivan there, wonderful. They're wonderfully vibrant caricatures with the musical notes used as sort of porcupine spines. Uh, in it is also Conan Doyle somewhere. There are various other figures. Um, Garnet Woolsey, the famous general, em Emil Zola. Um, we've got Lord Roberts there, the Bobs, uh, the great uh, field marshal, Lord Roberts. Um, we have uh, as I say, Sullivan. We've got, what else have we got? I think after Sullivan's a wonderful one of Dan Lino, the music hall artist. That would be fantastic framed up. Um, and we've got um, Ellen Terry, wonderfully vibrant cartoons and caricatures. Conan Doyle is in there. All sorts of people. Alfred Austin, the poet laureate. Scores and scores of illustrations of great figures of the day. A great rarity, I think. Uh, and I can't find any copies of it. Um, that was Charles Berifitz, Berifitz with the Great Sailor. There it is. Wonderfully frameable Victorian caricatures of members of high society and the arts, etc. Thank you very much indeed. Bye.